Today I'm going to show you how to make one of Grandma Tony's Easter baskets made out of crepe paper. You will need an empty container, crepe paper in two colors, green for the grass, and another color of your choice. I'm going to do pink today. You also need scissors, any size, any kind, doesn't matter. Today I'm using glue stick. Grandma always used paste, but this is the way to go these days. I'm using a bamboo skewer to roll. Also need a marker or a pen of some type to mark your container where you're going to cut it. And a stapler for attaching your handle. First thing we're going to do is mark and cut our container. This is about the height that is good, so this is how I mark it. You just want to ensure that you're going to get an even cut all the way around. Cut your container where I marked. the size we need. Now from this leftover piece I'm going to cut about an inch wide for the handle. get all your pieces cut, the next step is to wrap the handle in crepe paper. You hold it at a diagonal. Let's just pretend this is the handle. And we'll wrap it and go around and around and around till it's finished. Then we'll flip it over and do it again in the other direction. You'll go ahead and use the glue to do that. And then you'll also affix a band of paper to the top and a band of paper to the bottom. There's what it looks like on the bottom. Now to create the paper scallops, you'll take your one of your papers that you cut to wrap all the way around the basket, fold it in half, in half again, and in half yet again until you have the closest thing that resembles a square. If I fold this again, it'll be too skinny. Will not work. Okay. So now we want to cut on the fold line about halfway down with our scissors. You can also do this by opening the entire thing and cutting right on your line. You can see it right there. Like I said, about halfway down. Now grab your skewer for rolling. Grandma taught me to use the handle end of a crochet hook, but Aunt Betty told me the other day that uh, Grandma used to use a wire hanger for this rolling process. Okay, so you'll start at the corner and you'll roll until your skewer or your rolling instrument meets the center there. You'll take the roll and you'll scrunch it up. Oops, that didn't roll very well. Let's start over. That's the beauty of crepe paper. You can just do it again and again and again. 
So we roll, scrunch, and then slide. I know, Yogi. The kids are coming home from school. It's okay. He's a good boy. He likes to greet them every day. Okay, so we roll, scrunch, and slide on the other side as well. And there you have your rolled triangle top. And you'll go all the way down your ribbon. And you'll do this about eight times. You'll do all of them until you have enough to fit all the way down. I used about eight rows on my last basket. And I measured it the same size as this one, so I'm guessing it will be the same. So roll, scrunch, slide, start at the corner, roll, scrunch, slide, You pull it taut at the bottom so that you can glue it and it will measure nicely under your bucket when you're finished or ready to attach it. Roll, scrunch, slide it off. Roll, scrunch. Slide. Okay. And when you're ready to attach the first one, as I've already done here, you align your little valley there with the top of the bucket and you glue it all the way around for your first row. You take your glue stick first and add your glue and go ahead and add that. And then you can fix these a little bit so they're sticking up nicely, little points. So we keep doing that. Okay, I just finished rolling and scrunching and sliding all of these. Now I'm just going to pull it slightly at the bottom. to make it straight only at the bottom. Leave your little pyramids as they are. Now we are going to add the second row and start gluing from your valley there. See what we have here is peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, peak in a valley. So you want to glue all the way around. Put your glue on first. Sorry, it's hard for me to work backwards here, facing the camera. Hopefully you can understand what I'm talking about. You're all smart people, though. Okay. So there we have our glue. So you can start pretty much anywhere on here. And let's see. You want the top of your next pyramid to sit right in the valley there. Like so. The nice thing about crepe paper is that you can kind of stretch it to fit. Second one, 
and you just want to press that into place. And you can lift up your little peaks, like so, if you like, as you go along. So there, we've got two rows, and we'll continue. We'll go over that technique one more time, the roll scrunch slide, in case you didn't see it. the roll, scrunch, slide, roll, scrunch, slide. Now when you're done and you're ready to glue it, just stretch out the bottom a little bit. Maybe push your triangles upward, like so, if need be. Let's go ahead and attach another row. more glue stick. Press it in place so the glue holds for you. Let's glue the end in place here. There we go. Let's do it again. Now, if your little rolls get all mushed, that's okay. You can always roll them all over again. When you're finished, you probably want to go along and clean up some of your scrunchy rolls. And if you don't toss your basket away at the end of the year and you want to use it again next year, you'll want to um, fix it every year by curling and scrunching and sliding again just to freshen up your basket. So don't worry if it gets mushed. You can always fix it. Place it in place. Starting to look familiar, huh? This one's a little bit bigger, right?
I like this purple glue because you can see where it's going. And when it's dried, it disappears. It's awesome! One more row. Actually, one, not one more, several more. again. Here's how we make the grass now with your two measured lengths of crepe paper to go around. You cut them in half or cut them in half, fold them in half, in half, in half. And we're going to cut these about two-thirds of the way down, making grass. I don't know if you can see this or not. so that when you open it up, this is what you have. Mm -hmm. Let's make one. So go ahead and add your second row of grass and once that's glued into place, voila, you're done. Easter basket. Maybe add a little bunny or just wait for the Easter bunny to come and fill it for you. Here you go. Voila. Happy Easter. Here's our mini-me. Have fun. Love you.